Consider a volume of helium at 300 Kelvin whose velocities are described by the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, given here as a function and here graphically. What we want to do is to compute the relative probability of finding two different speeds in this distribution. So imagine that we want to compare this speed, represented by the red vertical bar, to this speed. And I'll get some numbers. Let's pick the average speed as that higher of the two speeds. If you plug in values from our analytic expression for the average speed computed in a different video, then you find for helium at 300 Kelvin, it's 1260 meters per second. For this lower speed, we'll just pick 900 meters per second. So we want to know the relative chances of finding particles at 1260 compared to 900 meters per second. In general, the probability of finding a speed between two values, VA and VB, is given by the integral from VA to VB of F dV. We don't want to integrate this, though. It's a huge pain to integrate F. It would be much nicer if we could find a way to simplify this, and we can under the particular circumstances that we choose VB and VA values such that their difference is much, much less than the square root of 2KT over M. Under those circumstances, we can discretize this integral, by which I mean that we turn that differential element dV into a difference between VB and VA. Let me show you what I mean. So the probability becomes F evaluated at the velocity we're interested in, V, times the difference between VB and VA. To help illustrate this, let me choose a specific number. Let's imagine we chose VB minus VA to be 10 meters per second. So you'd have plus or minus 5 meters per second around the velocity that you're actually interested in. Well, if you do that, then the probability of finding some velocity V1 would just be F evaluated at V1 times 10 meters per second. If you wanted to find some other velocity V2 using, again, VB minus VA of 10 meters per second, that would just be F evaluated at V2 times 10 meters per second. Well, the nice thing about this is that it's not important that we chose 10 meters per second. As long as we're interested in a narrow range around the velocity of interest, then if we compute a probability ratio, for instance, the probability of finding V1 compared to the probability of finding V2, well, you can see that'll just be the ratio of the distribution functions each times 10 meters per second, but now we can cancel the 10 meters per second. So really, the relative probabilities, the probability ratio, is just the ratio of the distribution function values at those two velocities. So if we assign V1 to be 1260 meters per second and V2 to be 900 meters per second, we can compute the relative probabilities of finding those two speeds. So we plug in those values into the distribution functions. The good news is a lot of this stuff will cancel, so let me simplify, and it becomes the ratio of 1260 to 900 squared times an exponential that's kind of involved. What I did was I combined the two exponentials in the numerator and denominator into a single exponential, so we're going to need to know m and t in addition to the speeds. Move that up. Well, t is given as 300 Kelvin. By now you can figure out if we're talking about atomic helium, the mass per atom is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So we'll insert the value for the Boltzmann constant, simplify things a little bit, and we end up with a ratio of probabilities of 1.05, meaning that it is 5% more likely to find a particle moving at 1260 meters per second than moving at 900 meters per second. Now, this approach didn't tell us the absolute probabilities. We could have gone through and computed those as long as we picked a small value of VB minus VA, but you'll see if you take a probability ratio like this, it doesn't actually matter what you pick for VB minus VA. That whole 10 meters per second thing canceled out, so in this case, if you just want to compare the ratios for probabilities of two speeds, you can get it directly without needing to worry about the range you're considering at all.